Donald Trump is hoping to lock in another win in Nevada. Forget the word caucus, just go out and vote, okay? While Marco Rubio appears set on amassing endorsements. I'm supporting Rubio. He's conservative and he's electable. And is arguing it's time for Republicans to rally behind him as the alternative to Trump before it's too late. If we nominate someone that half of the Republican Party hates, we're going to be fighting against each other all the way to November. We will never win that way. But right now, Donald Trump's blows are firmly trained on Ted Cruz. This guy is sick. There's something wrong with this guy. Just hours before voters cast their ballots in the unpredictable caucus state of Nevada. You know, it is Las Vegas. It's a little tricky, a little tricky. Cruz was still trying to nix the narrative that his campaign plays dirty. This guy Cruz lies more than any human being I've ever dealt with. Unbelievable. It's every single day something comes out of the Cruz campaign that's deceptive and untrue. Yesterday, Cruz fired his communications director. This morning, I asked for Rick Tyler's resignation. That's after the staffer distributed a video that appeared inaccurately to show Marco Rubio dismissing the Bible. Perhaps that was the most offensive one because they basically made it up. As Cruz struggled to regroup, John Kasich had his own awkward campaign moment, saying women left their kitchens to support his 1970s state house bid. We just got an army of people who, um, and, and many women who left their kitchens to go out and go door to door and to put, put yard signs up for me. His offhand comment quickly called out by a voter. I'll come to support you, but I won't be coming out of the kitchen. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you.